You know what else doesn't add up? I knew this would happen, by the way. Josh Moon, the cowardly pussy who runs Kiwi Farms, finally said something of worth. Finally told the truth. Finally, I mean, just admitted the obvious. Should I play the clips first? Maybe I should play the clips first. Let's see what Medicare is up to. Let me get to some other official business first. Let's get that intro song out of the way. There we go. You may have noticed. They've mistakenly remonetized me for a minute. I doubt that's going to last very long. Oh, uh, yeah. Put little puddings and little itty-bitty hamsters in for the medical Oh, he immediately shows. backed off once I supported what he said. But you know what? I knew he was going to do that. And I, the reason I put up my videos, I wanted to show what a pussy he was. And I knew as soon as I co-signed what he said, which was all true, by the way, uh, mostly, as far as I could tell, um, I knew as soon as I co-signed it, he would back off like the pussy faggot that he is. So I did that on purpose. <laughs> I did that for a reason because I knew exactly what he would do. Oh, now Ralph's co-signing it. I have to crawl back under Jim's skirt. I knew how that would happen, but you know. Tiny itty bitty little hamsters and puddings. I've heard some people saying, speculating, Keemstar pulled a few strings Got me my channel back. We all know YouTube is really big on the idea of mocking people who've gone through sexual abuse. <laughs> that was the decision. That was the decision at YouTube headquarters. They said, hey, Keem, we need you to get Jim to make fun of Boogie <laughs> about a traumatic childhood uh, uh, situation that he went through. Which and we then already did four years ago, by the way, on this very, almost four years ago to the day. And we're going to remonetize him. We're gonna let him get all the fucking dollary dues. Yeah, I made but Josh. That... I knew, I knew it would make him flip his assistant because he's that big of a pussy. Fat motherfucker, cry. It's the first thing you got to do. So Kim was like, "Eagle has landed. Let's send the message. Signal flares up in the air. Let's do this." Jim, <laughs> Jim, you've got to dunk on him. You've got to come dunk on this fat titted man and make him cry about this terrible tipple abuse. I was a man for the job. I was hired to come in and do it. Let's make it awkward and uncomfortable. That's what Jim's for. Then I got that email. Mission accomplished. We'll call you when we need you. We'll call you when we need you to go after more sex abuse victims. Jim. Checks in the mail. It's very easy to discredit something somebody says uh, when you completely lie about what was said. Uh, to clarify, my point was that after Jim showed up and gave Keemstar 20,000 viewers on a dead podcast he owns, that Keemstar did him a favor and got his account remonetized on YouTube. Which is exactly what happened. Is there any doubt that that happened, right? Like, I mean... Um, which wouldn't require any kind of grand conspiracy or top-down commands from YouTube headquarters regarding bullying sex abuse victims or whatever the fuck he's trying to say. Yeah, it's totally uh, bullshit. It just seems very likely. And not only that, but you don't have to be in on it. Uh, for that to work. For instance, let's say that Boogie is doing things well, he for attention. Wasn't on. He's going out and he's doing crypto scams and then he says something about cancer and then you get personally offended about this and do a stream that gets tens of thousands of viewers about Boogie. Keemstar sees an opportunity, invites you on to make fun of him. Boogie is of course paid to be made fun of because he's on a show called the Fat Retard Podcast where the job description is get made fun of and then he gets tens of thousands of viewers and thousands and thousands of dollars in the process and as a kickback he says okay remonetize his channel or could you look into remonetizing his channel to his youtube partner program and they do and then does that require some grand leap of logic does that require neil mahan to be personally involved not really um so i don't know what the the goal is to to try and do uh what you would call it an argument ad absurdum to what I said, because I don't think what I said was that unreasonable. Cute hamsters, though. Well, no, it, it wasn't. It was true. And then, then he said this about Jade. Uh-oh. Jim's a pussy if he doesn't respond to this. Of course he won't. They're all in each other's pockets and Gabe Hoffman's pockets. But Stephen Rith, for one, says, update on Almighty... He is still ass blasted at you for my bridge burning with Kersha again because she used to openly support KOE Farms, but you didn't sweep her edgy out of context tweets in VTuber thread one. Um, and then there's supposed to be a second one to this? If there is, I don't see it. Um, I mean, I don't know. Like, 
I, I have less, much less issue with Kershaw than I do, Pippa, based off what I've seen. As far as the Almighty Lolly, um, I, are you trying to fight? Are you trying to pick a fight? Like, how am I supposed to take this guy seriously? This, like, he's like a fucking retard. <laughs> how am I supposed to care? I don't even know this guy. You could be, like, feeding me absolute fucking lies, because I haven't seen any of the shit you're talking about. Uh, whatever is happening is, like, outside of my view. So I'm just, it's just your super chats. Oh, is she a Shadman person? Mm. And she's got to die. Theoretically, the cartoon character, not the performer. You have to behead the animes. And such is life. Josh swinging at everyone again, bro. I'm like I'm like Nega Switzerland. Okay, I am I am politically isolated, but I'm also belligerent. I think we call that a rogue state. I think that's I, like the DPRK. I tried to be neutral, and instead of being Switzerland, I try I became the DPRK. <laughs> that's that's why we call it Internet Juche Chat. There's a reason for everything. Okay, I have a grand design. It's one, I guess two out of two it says Almighty. F See thing about VTuber thread because according to him, Kersha and other VTubers can totally clear KF bad rep of being a doc and training killing site. Lol, all just has to do is start sweeping. Um, I have a feeling that nobody gives a fuck about what a bunch of cartoon character puppets think about my website. Um, I think that, like I said, there's there's a little bit of oh, and they threaten to like, sue him too. Where it's like, 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 oh, you're gonna get sued if you don't stop this thread. Like they both said like semi positive things about the forum, and then of course I'm extremely negative about both of them. But at the same time, it's like it's so creepy. It's so creepy, and the shit they do is like so Coomer adjacent. Like. What am I supposed to do? Am I just supposed to be like, oh, okay, well, you made references to the forum before, so therefore I can't ever say anything negative about you. Uh, and with Pippa in particular, Pippa was very happy to talk about Matt the Internet, like early on, both the Kiwi Farms and Matt the Internet. But then once Daddy Jim was willing to give her attention and, and uh, gush over her anime so armpits, uh, actually not even her anime armpits, but her real in real yeah. life armpits, despite being married, um, then it became... Oh, okay, Daddy Jim is the one providing the viewers, and we're okay with that. And it's like, uh, I'm not fucking retarded. I know what women do. I know what professional uh, streamers are like, and I know how this works. And I, I like, I, I've been, I've been doing this for a very long time. I keep everybody at arm's length, and when I was not rewarding, and other people were, then the tune changed. Not that it matters, because. Uh, there's issues. Steven Rith, for one, says, The Almighty Queer... Oh my god, bro. You gotta you gotta up these fucking numbers to, like, fives, I think. The Almighty Queer claiming VTuber threads are full of spiteful people. Therefore, he the imminent downfall of KF, for some reasons, Face Connect will rape you in lawsuit just yes, by Pippa Thread alone, LOL. They can try. I mean, I'm not gonna let a bunch of fucking, um... Like, uh, corporations bully me into saying I can and can't say things. You can file a lawsuit if you want. So that was what he said. Then he went on his forum and he said, the group think around Jim is one of the saddest things routinely witnessed on this site. He, I'll, I'll read this again in a second, a clip that I'll show you, but he might as well be a Christ-like figure to Neats on the internet. The old internet's peace be upon him, only begotten son who got cancer AIDS and died for our sins while living a perfect life himself. Conquering old fagism and meeting Harambe flawless and flawless and unblemished. If these comments you people write anytime I talk about Jim or apply to any other person, literally anyone, the fucking cringe would be so obvious you wouldn't be able to tolerate it. But because it's Jim, it passes. It doesn't just pass. It's basically the status quo. A lot of the anger I feel uh, are you hear in my voice is knowing that I can't talk about certain topics without dealing with you fucking people crying about it after the fact. The anger is basically the friction and knowing that I've spent a decade of my life trying to create a place for open criticism where I myself, except for himself, where I myself am still hamstrung and being able to address certain people as honestly as I would like. If Jen, this is the quote. If Jim wants to sell his booty hole to Keem for a little medical bill juicer, go for it. But I will point it out and no one will stop me. Then he says, I've completely blown my fuses for dealing with retards. I mentioned the two big sacred cows last stream. I assume he mean, means Pippa as well. Uh, they says, why doesn't Josh like Medicare? Somebody said. Uh, and he says, I said, he, he's doing the, 
the Chan uh, Arrow quote or whatever. I say with good reason Jim took a deal with Keem to promote scripted drama, which it's obviously fake. Uh, and I've said that for it is for a fact fake. Therefore, I don't like him. Then he goes, I don't fucking know him. I hate his fans more than anything. They get so incredibly upset if you say anything about him. So I saw all this. Now, of course, uh, let me see if I already do. I have it pulled up already. Let me see. Of course, he's already, um, you know, backed off because he's a fucking loser. Um, but let me see. Uh, I knew he would, too. That's why I made the video. That's exactly why I made the video. It had nothing, uh, it had nothing to do, uh, with like teaming up with Josh. Uh, I knew that wouldn't happen, um, because, you know, even though he knows I'm right and I, I know he's right about what he's saying, I knew he would back down. I knew he would back down like a bitch if I made this video. And I even saw some people saying, Ralph, don't make this video. Just stay out of it. Da, 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 da. Maybe it'll continue. No, I did it to show what a pussy Null is. That's why I did it. That's exactly why I did it. And let me see if I have it. I do have it. Uh, let me resize it here, though. And I take myself off the screen usually when I play myself on video because it just it looks weird to me. Although I do have a beard here. You can see how much slimmer I am. Uh, without the beard, but uh, I usually take myself off the screen uh, when I do that, so I'll do that again. But uh, this is the video I made, uh, and we got a ghost video as well. Hello and happy Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it appears Josh Moon has finally picked his balls up off the table and is willing to call out kayfabe cancer man Jim Medicker. For the first time in, I don't know, years. Uh, and it has caused a split amongst his base on QB Farms. Now, usually, Josh will bow to the split because he's actually afraid of his own audience, in my opinion. Uh, like I said. North sent $3. Thanks for bum fights the overnight. You're welcome. I forgot how funny it was. There's more bum fights, too. There's like two or three more volumes. Uh, I think three. So we do have more bum fights. Hopefully that's not the case this time. Hopefully I'm wrong. Hopefully I'm completely off base. Can we hit the goal for the 86th show in a row? Powerchat.live slash the Ralph Retort. Of course, preferred. We got some Bitcoin in today as well. You can use that. That address works on there. Uh, Ethereum. Use the ETH20 network, though, if you can on that. Um, although I can merge them and all that stuff if I have to. Um, Rumble Rants, a great way to support the show. Dollar Sign Sunset Squad on Cash App. God bless the goal. Let's not let it break today. I know it's a Monday, uh, but I started early, got to work early, woke up early, refreshed, sober, ready to go. Uh, Adam Green's going to be on the show one day this week. Uh, so is Thomas777, uh, and I'm going to work on some other people as well. Uh, but I'll just read you his own words. Uh, he said, The group think around Jim is one of the saddest things routinely witnessed on this site. He might as well be a Christ-like figure. A doll wolf sent $2 on Rumble. I can't believe Jim's able to do nine-hour streams with his broken ribs, dusted lungs, and glowing blood cancer. All from his wheelchair. The whole time without even a cough. His torch truly lights the way. Your torch lights the way! Yeah, I know. It really is amazing. This guy's like a Superman, I guess. Who needs on the internet. The old internet's, peace be upon him, only begotten son who got cancer AIDS and died for our sins while living a perfect life himself, conquering old fagism and meeting Harambe flawless and unblemished. If these comments you people write anytime I talk about Jim were applied to any other person, literally anyone, the fucking cringe would be so obvious that you wouldn't be able to tolerate it. But because it's Jim, it passes. It doesn't just pass, it's basically the status quo. A lot of the anger you hear in my voice is knowing that I can't talk about certain topics without dealing with you fucking people crying about it after the fact. The anger is basically the friction in knowing that I've spent a decade of my life trying to create a place for open criticism where I, myself, am still hamstrung and being able to address certain people as honestly as I would like. 
if Jim wants to sell his booty hole to Keem for a little, little medical bill juicer, go for it. But I will point it out and nobody will stop me. Then he says, I've completely blown my fuses for dealing with retards. I mentioned the two big sacred cows, Pippa, I guess, and Jim last stream. Pippa, of course, the pedophile, uh, you know. Uh, safe and legal is an open and legal pe pedophilia. I forget the exact quote, but uh, she's a pedophile. Uh, then she then Noel goes on to say, I say with good reason, Jim took a deal with Keem to promote scripted drama. Therefore, I don't like him. He says, I don't fucking know him. I hate, I hate his fans more than anything. They get so incredibly upset if you say anything about Jim. Well, I've witnessed this myself. If you say anything about the old fag king who's broken every rule and everything he's ever said his entire career. Yes, he was against merge before he was before it. He was against monetization before he was for it. He was against Patreon before he was for it. I mean, the list goes on and on. He was against life ruination before he was for it. Um, you know, I, I, again, I've stated all this many times, but. Then you're persona non grata, uh, and they declare war on you, and you better back off. You better back off, or they're going to destroy you. Well, I'm here to say Lol Cow Live is scripted. Keem, I'm not DSP, and I'm not going to back off. It is scripted. It's obviously scripted. That's not an opinion. That's a fact. And if you want to see Ralph, me, he disappeared fucker. on screen. Yeah, I know because I'm showing this clip. I'll I'll pull it back. I'll pull myself back up in a second. Sue me. I'm not hard to find. Well, maybe I'm a look. Look how much skinnier I look without the beard, though. That's one reason I got rid of it. But hard to find. Also, was getting a little scraggly. Uh, but do it if you're that froggy. If you're that froggy, jump. But the fact that Josh, you know, I have to give him a little bit of credit. I'm not known for giving him credit, to be honest. Uh, for calling out Jim's obvious shilling for Keemstar, obvious participation in a kayfabe work. Boogie, the tattoo on his face, he probably got paid ten, twenty thousand dollars for that. Like if it's all even this real shit is fake and gay. It's not entertaining. It's not I, even I, I sh it should be up on robot, but I don't know if it's working uh, on Rumble Studio or not. So we'll see. Like a mistaken story. It's a scripted story. It's a reality show. It's fake. It's gay. Kudos to Josh no, for it's calling not out for some Medicare. Reason. I doubt Medicar will respond because, you know, he likes to stay aloof and likes to, you know, act like a pussy. And he's been riding Kiwi Farms coattails for two or three years now. So uh, I doubt. Now, every time in the past, Jim used to always talk shit about Kiwi Farms, basically. And anytime you'd hear him talk about Josh or Kiwi Farms, it'd basically be like you could hear the distaste in his mouth. Uh, but now he's got his mouth just firmly locked around their dick. So I doubt he'll have the balls to say anything. Uh, but kudos to Josh for standing up to these sick fucking VTube freaks. Uh, kudos to Josh for calling out Jim, who is a married man, by the way. Uh, like... Uh, Lick Peppa's armpits and just like the craziest shit you could imagine. I mean, I just let Noel say particular. it himself. Pippa I was played very this already, happy but to talk about this Matt is the internet. shorter. Like early on, both the Kiwi Farms and Matt the Internet. But then once Daddy Jim was willing to give her attention and and uh, gush over her anime armpits. Daddy Jim, uh, actually not even her anime armpits, but her real in real life armpits. Despite being married, um, then it became. Oh, okay, Daddy Jim is the one providing the viewers, and we're okay with that. And it's like, uh, I'm not fucking retarded. I know what women do. I know what professional Me too. Uh, streamers are like, and Me I know too. how this works. And I, I like, I, I've been, I've been doing this for a very long time. I keep everybody at arm's length, and when I was not rewarding, and other people were, then the tune changed. Not that it matters, because uh, there's issues. The tune changes, and it always does. Medicare sold his ass, as Moon so eloquently put it. Uh, if, if Jim wants to sell his booty hole to Keem for a little medical bill juicer, go for it. But <laughs> I will point it out, and way. nobody can stop me. He sold his asshole to Keemstar for a fake show, a clearly fake show. That's not my opinion. That's a stated fact. Keem, Daniel Keem of Buffalo, New York, and you can sue me for it in New York. I'll be in New York court soon enough anyway. So I won't be hard to find. 
Uh, and if you want, I'm not DSP. I'm not backing off. There is no opinion disclaimer here. You're a fake. You're a fraud. And Jim just disgraced himself even further than I thought possible by participating in your bullshit for a few extra shekels. Oh, that was me yesterday. And I knew exactly what would happen, by the way. That Josh would immediately change his tune. Look how much slimmer I look. He would immediately change his tune because Ralph agreed with him. Because Ralph agreed with him. And Kosa, I mean, he was right. Uh, and I, But I knew what would happen if I put out that video. Uh, and that's why I did it. Just to show what a phony fake faggot this guy is uh and always has been honestly uh and i knew he would crawl back under daddy jim's skirt just as quick as he could if me ethan ralph put out a video which i did plus it was sunday so i figured why not put out a video but uh i knew exactly what would happen it did happen and, well, I was proven right. I didn't say that publicly, but I knew that would happen. If I put out if I put out a video agreeing with him, like, that would be too much. That would be too much. He's scared of his own audience. Uh, and you could see them, or you could see them yesterday. I don't know about today. Uh, turning on him in real time on his own site. Uh, and he's afraid of what they would actually do to him uh, if he got him pissed off enough. For good reason, really. But, uh... You know, he is actually not uh, the the ringleader over there. I mean, he runs the site, uh, but they could destroy him in a, in, at any time. North 8181 sent $3 on Rumble. Don't forget, boys. Fuck Palestine. Fuck Israel. Fuck Ukraine. Fuck Russia. New one, fuck France for depicting the Last Supper with Troons. Yeah, that was fucked Look up. Look after your own brothers. I thought it was funny that the Ayatollah of Iran was the only world leader that I've seen so far call that out uh, and say that was fucked up. Uh, I saw that this morning. Uh, I haven't seen any other world leaders. They replaced the Last Supper with like drag queens and weirdos and faggots and stuff like that. So obviously a lot of people took offense to that. Plus the opening just sucked. It sucked so bad that NBC took it off of YouTube. You can't even watch it on YouTube in the, in the United States. We tried to pull it up in Mexico the other day. I knew that wouldn't work. Um, but you can't even watch it in the United States, at least as of this morning. That's how bad it sucked. That's how much criticism they were catching. Uh, so, but anyway, back to this topic. I knew exactly what Josh would do. Uh, I knew he would say, oh, well, if anybody can make me like the sweaty squad again, it would be Ralph. And, uh, you know, too bad he's talking truth. I can't have that. Uh, so I, I knew exactly what he would do. Uh, it was funny that he did it in basically record time. Uh, Thank you for watching this clip by Colonel J. This is the King of Bold here. Remember to like and subscribe. Juice.